Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic TBC and our Human Mage playthrough. Starting off in Goldshire today, I did do a couple of things. I ran to Stormwind to pick up the skinning profession and tailoring professions. I also sent myself um, some supplies from my level 25 Draenei Shaman. So we have a few 8 slot bags now, and I also sent along some coin and a few stacks of linen cloth to get us going either on first aid or into tailoring. The extra bag space is absolutely essential. That's going to help us out a lot early on. Let's uh, let's start picking up some quests here. You need something? Cobalt candles. Uh, my brother and I run an apothecary in Stormwind and I'm here to gather large candles for their wax. You can get large candles from kobolds and I hear rumors that kobolds are infesting the Elwyn mines. Let's come over here and talk to Marshall Dugan. What can I do for you? The mine in Northshire isn't the only one with problems. I have reports the Fargo Deep mine in Elwyn has also become a haven for kobolds. Explore the mine and confirm these reports, then return to me. The mine is due south of Goldshire. Good day to you. The kobolds in these parts sometimes carry gold dust on them. I could really use the stuff. Bring me a load of it, and I'll give you the best price in town. See you later. Alright, uh, for some reason I thought there would be a few more things to pick up right away. We do need to come down to the farms here and pick up the quest down in that direction. So let's head to the south. I think we'll do the stuff at the farms first. It's a little bit of running back and forth. Uh, but it might be good to get that stuff going, get it out of the way early on. Let's get our buffs up. Uh, which farm do we want to go to first? I guess we can come over here. It's nice that frost armor slows them down, so when they hit us once, they don't often get more than one or two hits in before they are uh, really far behind us. Uh, we can take this guy out. He's kind of in our way. I do still need to buy a skinning knife next time we're in town. See you later. Uh, she wants us to go talk to Tommy at the other farm. We're gonna head that way. Well met. Princess must die. The Brackwells have a prize-winning pig. Princess, the sow is huge, and she got that way from sneaking over here and eating my veggies. We will put down the pig hey at some point. Lost necklace. I lost my necklace, and I think that gutter snipe, Billy Melchior, took it. He's usually scuttling like a rat around the Melchior vineyards east of here. Safe travels. All right, before we head back that way, let's come over here to the river, and we'll talk to Tommy.
Hey there. Have a good one. A lot of these quests down here at the farm are not very interesting from like a story or lore perspective, so I'm not reading most of them. Uh, many of them I've, I've read numerous times in the past in different playthroughs. Well met. Be careful. Alright, he wants someone to make him a boar meat pie, so first we have to gather up said boar meat by fighting the boars right here at the farm. Some of which are apparently level 6. Yeah, having a skinning knife would be really good right about now. We will get one as soon as we're back in Goldshire, which we'll run back up there after we finish this quest. After, well, after we get this finished and turned in. Alright, let's head over here. We'll turn this one into Auntie, who is gonna make the meat pie. And yeah, it's basically just a lot of running around, and after you get these quests out of the way, you can focus more on action-oriented quests. Uh, like going into the mines, but it is better just to kind of do this stuff right off the bat. 
and get it taken care of. So that gives us the quest to get the necklace back uh, from within, from Goldtooth inside the mine. Okay, that's what we needed. I'm going to go back to Goldshire really quick uh, before we do anything else. So we can get a skinning knife and I believe we need to train at least our level 6 spells. From what I remember, we did not have the gold to do so when we originally hit level 6, so yeah. We'll get that done now. Uh, I think we're going to get Fire Blast this level. And we might get Conjure Water as well. We have Conjure Food already. Can probably do something smart and bring that out to our bar. Oh, we have Conjure Food and Conjure Water already. Okay. Perfect. How are you? A fishy peril. There's a threat in Elwyn Forest. Murlocs are swimming up the streams of eastern Elwyn, scaring away fish and attacking it gentle folk. I warned Marshal Dugan, but he's more worried about the gnolls and the bandits. He's not convinced that the Murlocs are a danger. See you around. King's honor, friend. Yes, I spoke with Remy. I respect him as a merchant, though all reports of Murlocs to the east have been sketchy at best. Your concerns are noted, but unless I receive a military report of Murloc threats, we cannot afford to send more troops east. If you are concerned that the rumors of Murlocs are true, then do this. Travel to Eastern Elwyn Bridge and speak with Guard Thomas. He has been stationed at the bridge for the past week and will know the state of affairs in the area. For the Alliance. All right. Uh, we need to find a trade good vendor right here. Greetings. You will have a skinning knife. Be careful. Hello. Safe travels. All right, let's go upstairs and see if we can find our trainer. There we go. What can I do for you? Yeah, we got Fire Blast and Fireball Rank Two. See you around. Now we are gonna have to go into our spell book, grab the new rank of Fireball, and pull it out to our bar. There we go. Let's put Fire Blast here for now. It's going to be an instant cast that blasts them for 24 to 33 fire damage. Alright, should be good. Now we're ready to go deal with the kobolds in the mine. I do have my hearthstone set here to Goldshire. That was a big resist there on our first attempted fire blast. Did not go so well. There we go, second time's a charm. And now that we have rank 2 of fireball, it's a longer cast time, so now it's a 2 second cast. And it's obviously going to be dealing a bit more damage.
I'm gonna make some food and water here. I think we'll use the stuff that we have first, and then we'll resort to our conjured stuff. We do have quite a bit of water to use up, so not really any reason to be stingy with it at this point, since we can make our own. don't really want to fight two at the same time here, so I'm trying to back up to drop this other guy, but he is really intent on coming right at us. Uh, we need to get to a spot where we can drink a little bit. Not that anywhere is particularly safe right now. I need to make sure that I have a fresh mug of coffee when I play the mage. I, I like to drink my own coffee while we drink constantly to get our mana back. At least it gives me something to do. Ah, uh, big resist. Getting so many resist on the fire blast. We do need to fight our way all the way back here. We need to find Goldtooth. He's going to be somewhere near the far back of the mine. Well, I thought that uh, Fire Blast would go off in time to tag at least one of these guys for us. I obviously picked the wrong guy to go after. That is unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, do I need any of these guys up here? Not particularly. Let's maybe go another way. Oh boy, line of sight issues. I don't know where the hell you came from, <laughs> uh, but that's fun. Yeah, we, we don't do well in areas where there are lots of constant respawns because can't really fight stuff back to back. Uh, man, I really wish I could, uh, I could drink up here. That would be really cool. Let's do the potion. I need to get, I need to tag him, because if I don't tag him, someone else is going to. It's gonna pull the ad, which is gonna make things really, really hard for us. Alright, so we got the necklace. That's the difficult part. Now that that's done... Uh, we could probably ch stand to take it easy in here and just make sure we have mana when we're engaging stuff. 
And now we're just looking for gold dust and large candles. And we actually don't have to be deep in the mine for this. We can work our way back to the outside. And we're gonna have we're gonna have a better time on the class when we're not in clustered little areas like this. Uh, where we can easily get jumped by multiple enemies. Somebody met their end in here. It happens to the best of us. Let's get the rest of the items we need by fighting out here. That was a big resist on the fireball. We definitely did not need that to happen. Let's see if our regen can kick in here and maybe we can fire off a couple more frost bolts between auto attacks. Even early on, uh, the, the water we have only restores 151 mana. We have a maximum of 360. <laughs> it would be cool to see like a passive ability for a mage or a warlock be something like you get more mana back from, from water, so maybe you get double the mana back. That would be a cool thing to be able to talent into while, uh, while leveling. The Conjured stuff is the same right now. Looks like we only need one more gold dust.
We will get a wand eventually. Uh, soon if we're really lucky. I might just shop for one on the auction house. I'm not sure what the lowest level wands are. I know for sure we can get one by level 10. But it's possible uh, that we could get one before that. Would be a little bit better than auto attacking. Alright, that is all the gold dust we need. Let's go over here first and turn in Bernice's necklace. That's level 8. Perfect. And back to Goldshire we go. Hey there. See you later. What can I do for you? This is bad news. What's next, dragons? We'll have to increase our patrols near the mine. Thanks for your efforts, and hold for a moment. I might have another task for you. The Jasper Load Mine. Thanks to you, we know the Fargo Deep Mine is infested with kobolds. Now, we need a scout to investigate a more distant Jasper Load Mine. Explore the mine and confirm any cobalt presence. Life bless you. Good day to you. Here's the candles. My brother Morgan is waiting in Stormwind for my shipment of candles. I don't have enough time to make the trip myself, but if you'd like to take him the shipment, I'll pay he'll pay you well. A good one. Okay, just a little breadcrumb to Stormwind. We will definitely be doing that at some point. Uh, for now, let's head over here and get the Crystal Kelp Fronds from the Murlocs. Uh, we've managed to pull an ad.
And there we go, that's four out of four. <clears throat> Excuse me. We will get this turned in, and then I think we have to make one more trip down to the farms to finish up that chain. something? See you around. Good day to you. How are you? See you later. there. Have a good one. And they never saw her again. All right, so all that stuff is done. We have a few minutes left on our hearth. I think we're just going to come right out here, right out to the east. And uh, on the way, we can maybe get uh, Princess's Collar. Though we'll be down there for other reasons. We don't have to do that now. But we definitely can. Okay. 
Got a level 51 mage leveling up their herbalism, it looks like. Eventually we're going to need young forest bears for a quest. I'm going to try to avoid them for now. As a matter of fact, I think I might just come up here to the road and we'll grab uh, the quest here before we think about doing anything else. Also some quests over in the lumber camp that we can grab. And those quests will take us down here. We can pair up, uh, I think it's the red linen goods. We can pair that up with heading down to the farm where Princess is at. Have a band of adventurers here behind us. Looks like only one of them is on follow. Well met. Yes, Murlocs have settled in and around the streams of Eastern Elwyn. We don't know why they are here, but they are aggressive and at least semi-intelligent. Oh nice, level 9. A few days ago we sent two guards, Rolf and Malachi, to investigate along the river and they have not yet returned. To complete my report, I must know what happened to those men. Go with honor, friend. Need help? Ah, uh, protect the frontier. Wild animals are growing more and more aggressive the farther we get from Goldshire, and the Eastvale logging camp suffers nearly constant attacks from wolves and bears. Be careful. Light be with you. And report to Giran Stoutmantle. This is our breadcrumb into Westfall. Looks like you've seen quite a bit of combat in your time, mage. If you haven't already, you should report to Giran Stoutmantle. He heads up the people's militia, aimed at protecting the farmlands of Westfall. I bet he could use your help. Go with honor. Uh, yeah, he could use our help, but we're a little bit of a low level to be getting a breadcrumb out there just yet. Uh, that's going to be more around level 13 or 14 that we're going to want to head out that way. Let's come over to the logging camp and we'll pick up all the stuff over here as well. King's honor, friend. The Defias gang in Northshire wears burlap mask, but the Defias and Elwyn wear linen, which I can use to make fine linen goods. Bring me red linen bandanas and I'll use them to fashion something for you. Light bless you. You need something? I've got a real problem on my hands. I have a deadline looming for an order of lumber and I'm running out of time. The wolves and bears north of here have chased my workers away from the bundles of wood that they've already chopped. I've already talked to Jeopardy Rainer about clearing the animals, but I need someone to go collect the wood for me. If you could collect eight bundles of wood, I might just make my- Deputy Rainer is a weird person to talk to because he is actually all the way over here. Maybe she meant Guard Thomas. A little bit of a weird... A little bit of weird writing, because yeah, Deputy Rainer is far, far, far away. Not really in a position to help with any of the stuff going on over here. 
All right, let's let's start by collecting the wood and see if we can make progress on that. We have to find bundles laying near the trees that they've collected but abandoned. And maybe we can start skinning some of these bodies. We need wolves and bears as well. But it looks like someone has killed the ones near here. We can start working on our skinning. And we also need to find the lost guards. We have to find them in order, so we do have to head to the other side of the lake to find the first guard, and then we'll be back over here for the second guard. So I'm going to make my way over there. Although much has been stripped from the corpse, near, strewn nearby is a medallion with the words Footman Malachi Stone etched upon it. Upon further searching the area, you find webbed footprints leading east along the shore of Stonecarn Lake. In the distance to the east, you can just barely see a Murloc village. Don't really have a need to stop and fight this guy. But we are going to have to clear towards the corpse. Probably starting here. Uh, this is a situation where we're probably going to want to use sheep. Uh, I might want to be at full mana for this, though. Ah, uh, well, they're splitting up. Let's see if we can grab this one here. These guys are level 10, and they hit pretty hard. Find around the neck of the corpse a metal medallion inscribed with the words Footman Rolf Hartford. Now that you have both medallions, deliver them to guard Thomas at the bridge. Alright. Let's continue looking for wood and we will fight any bears and prowlers that we see, although there don't seem to be many over here that are alive. 
Oh, we didn't even get to skin that one. That's pretty sad. Uh, we got a Disciple's Sash, so a belt with 10 armor. That's a little bit of an upgrade over what we have, so we will go ahead and equip that. We just need one more stack of wood, I believe. And here it is right next to us.
Alright, let's go turn this one in. Excellent. Thanks to you, I should be able to complete the order in time. To show my gratitude, I would like to offer some coin as compensation. Be careful. Okay, let's have a look. Now, if we head to the south, we should be able to take on the prowlers and the bears we need. Um, and then make our way over here. I also want to head over here and talk to guard Thomas as well. But let's see if we can find some more bears and prowlers over in this little area. be nice to have that completed when we go to talk to him so we can turn that one in as well. Uh, this is bad. It's pretty bad. Anytime... Oh, that was the worst thing that could happen. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're gonna run away from this. Actually, uh, no we're not. We're going to potion up. And we'll hope that we have enough mana to kill it. We don't. This could be a close one. This could be our first death right here. We're going to need to regenerate some mana. We're going to need to get at least one more Frostbolt in to beat this guy. Yeah, that was uh, a little too close. Now we're just hunting bears, uh, which there are not nearly as many of. Oh, we don't want to be here. That's like a wolf den. That's where we go to die. Yeah, there aren't as many bears as there are prowlers. So, a little bit harder to find them. We only need two more, but it doesn't mean that there's going to be any that have spawned right over here. And yeah, it looks like the only things up right now are spawned in as prowlers. See one bear off that way. Okay, again, not good. It's not good when we get these ads like this. And now we're dazed. I don't really know how he got a hit in on us. Now we have to square off with him and fight. 
uh, to what might be the bitter end. Alright, here we go. This is the last bear that we need. turn this in we'll turn in the guard quest as well and we'll see if guard thomas has any follow-ups for us You've confirmed my fears. The Murlocs are a threat that we cannot ignore. Thanks for the help. Something in the forest must be making these animals so bold. Whatever it is, I hope it stays there. Tell Marshal Dugan of Malachi and Rolf's death and report to him that the Murlocs in Eastern Elwyn cannot be contained by our current troop presence. I know we don't have many troops to spare, but hopefully Dugan can find someone. I'm pretty sure he sends us back. Uh, to do a little kill quest. Uh, let's come down here. We're going to do the red linen bandanas and get Princess's brass collar. I don't know if this other one becomes aggressive once we attack Princess. It does. It definitely, definitely does. We're going to focus on Princess here. We're going to get the collar. And I think we're just going to leash this guy. There we go. And awesome, there's level 10, which means we can get into our talent trees. We are going to be going down the frost talent tree for this one. 
Uh, improved Frostbolt reduces the casting time of Frostbolt by 0.1 seconds, so up, up to half a second maximum. And then Elemental Precision reduces the mana cost and chance to resist. We need, we need both of these. Um, we're going to go into Improved Frostbolt first. We might do like 3 and 2 to get us down to the next uh, tier. Well, that's not great. We are probably going to buy some milk from the vendor that's going to be a little bit stronger than the water that we can conjure on our own. I mean, it's great being able to conjure your own water, but a lot of what happens on the mage is that the water you conjure isn't usually as good as the water that you can just buy. 
So it's helpful in a pinch when you're out in the world and you run out of the water that you've bought, but ultimately buying water is probably your best bet still. Ouch, it's quite a kick. Ah, this is going to be close. Okay, yeah, they need to stop spawning on top of me. That would be awesome. Let's try to get our health and mana back here. They're not wanting us to get this last item, it seems. We have killed quite a few of them and still no item. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, maybe we try our luck on some different guys. Anybody else alive? There's somebody over here. Probably one of the worst drop rates for an early quest that I've seen from like a pre level 10 quest. It started off okay. Just getting this last one has become almost impossible. Let's get our buffs back up. Hey, there we go. Okay, so back to the logging camp to get this one turned in. And after that, I think we'll be able to hearth back to Goldshire. Need help? Light bless you. And she gave us a red shirt and a red waist. Not really necessary.
All right, let's... Oh, look at that. I almost forgot to investigate the Jasper Load Mine. How embarrassing would that have been? Yep, let's go ahead and do that before we hearth out of here. Now there are going to be kobolds up here, we don't need to fight them so we can avoid as many as we can, but uh, that being said, we are going to have to clear our way into this place. Uh, and it's going to start right here, with unexpectedly pulling this guy who I just didn't see. Also pulled the caster. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to learn to be more careful on this class. Uh, I'm going to get us into all kinds of trouble that we really can't do much about. And we're definitely going to have to get some milk.
Thankfully, we don't have to fight our way all the way into the back of this cave. Just uh, up ahead a little bit, about midway through. And then we should be able to hearth right out of here. There we go, and now we can just hearth out. We have nothing else to turn in over here. Everything turns in back this way. Oh, we did hit level 10, so let's go talk to our trainer. Oh, you have a quest. Hello. Speak with Jania. We mages have a task that needs doing, one that is vital to the safety of Stormwind and Elwyn Forest. Jania Cannon has the details. She studies in the Wizard's Sanctum in the Mage District of Stormwind. You should make your way to her with haste. That's cool. I've never done this quest. Uh, another rank of Conjure Water, which is much appreciated. Uh, another rank of Frost Armor and Frost Nova. Finally, blast enemies near the caster for 19 to 21 frost damage. Freezes them in place for up to 8 seconds. This is going to help out immensely. Safe travels. Let's go ahead, come into here, replace this. Uh, let's do something like that for now. Uh, maybe we do this. Four hundred and thirty seven, so that's a lot better. It's a lot better than a hundred and fifty one. How much does the milk restore? Can I help you? Four hundred and thirty seven. <laughs> it's the same, okay, perfect. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and vendor. Uh, this is actually more armor. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. It's more armor, so... That should be good for now. Be careful. What can I do for you? Cobalt of the Jasper Lode Mine, you say? Curses. The situation is worsening by the minute. Thank you for the report, but I wish that the news you brought was good news. Well, sorry, man. What can we do? Uh, Westbrook Garrison needs help. The garrison on our western border sends word of increasing knoll and thief activity. They're requesting we send more Stormwind soldiers, but we just don't have any to spare. If you can help, we could use it. Go and speak with Deputy Rayner at the Westbrook Garrison and see what he needs done. For the Alliance. Need help? Hmm, this news is troubling. Already our defenses are stretched thin, and losing Rolf and Malachi to those Murlocs put us in an even worse position. If things don't improve, there will be fighting in Goldshire by the week's end. For your shrewdness and valor, I have a marker here that is good for one piece of armor. I want you to take it to Sarah Timberlane at the logging camp. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to run all the way out to the logging camp again to get that. It's kind of unfortunate. I think you have a breadcrumb takes us into 
into Stormwind. There's a dwarven weaponsmith in Stormwind, Grimand Elmore, who sent word that he needs help with a delivery. Ah, uh, that's a breadcrumb into Loch Modan. See you later. Which we will probably just grab to have it. And we do have to come down here to the south and turn in the princess quest. That should get us to level 11. This is going to be a little bit of a longer episode today, probably more than an hour. I hope you guys are okay with that. I do try to keep these at about an hour in length, but I will go over or even a little bit under if we need to get to a good stopping point. Uh, unfortunately, I am going to have to... Oh, that's okay. We have more quests to do out here. We have at least the bounty on Murlocs to do, so at least running all the way out here isn't going to be just for the turn-in. We're going to have one more thing to do. Uh, which is good. What can I do for you? Farewell. All right, guys, I am going to take a break here. What I am going to do uh, off recording is I'm just going to run us up to Stormwind. I'm going to do all the breadcrumb stuff there. I'm also going to go ahead and work on tailoring a little bit. I have quite a bit of cloth. I'd like to get that skilled up some so that, you know, maybe one day soon we can start making some decent gear for ourselves. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Some gear with a little bit of stats on it couldn't hurt. I'm also going to check at the auction house to see if I can get a wand for a reasonable price. So, like, under a gold would be good. But yeah, that is the plan. Next time, we'll come out here and we will take care of the murloc threat. And then we're going to have stuff to do over here at the uh, western outpost before heading into Westfall itself. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that we get at least one or two more levels out of all that. I don't really want to go into Westfall if we're not level 13. So I'm kind of wondering, it, the buff is not going to really get us too far above the leveling curve. I'm, I'm kind of hoping it gets us to a point where we don't have to do a lot of zone hopping. Uh, I'm already kind of past the point where I could have zone hopped. If we were going to do zone hopping around level 8, we would have wanted to go into Dunmoro and into the Dwarven area to do some quest. And we didn't do any of that, so I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't end up being necessary. But we'll see. We'll play it by ear. Those of you who are leveling fresh characters, maybe you're a little bit further along than me if you want to share your experiences with the XP buff and what it feels like to level with it, uh, I would love to hear from you guys. And until next time, everyone take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again really soon. Bye now.